What's happening everybody? My name is Sasuke and welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon! Yeah! Macho Man Randy Savage! Oh no, no. Oh, welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon. So our level 5 people are geared up and ready to go. Got a little bit of stress on newbie, a little concerning, but I mean, to be honest with you, I ain't freaking out over it. Unequipped, sword by rarity. Let's go ahead and get them geared up, because they're most, most guaranteedly going to be the ones we're taking out today. Um, I think this is what we went with last time. I didn't go for the double healing. No. Actually, I don't think we went with that. There's no way we went with that, because I would not lower somebody's, um, somebody's, uh, dodge that much. That is too terrible. I love having a high dodge. It's so damn good. I think we went with the legendary combo on our main man here. It's just so good. So much damage. How much damage is it actually adding, though? It's 8 to 16. We're gaining 3% crit and only not very much damage, actually. Interesting. I think, I think before I ended the last episode, I remember seeing the Berserk Charm in here. Buy me another Berserk Charm, man. <laughs> I'm starting to like these Berserk Charms quite a bit. I wouldn't mind having this. I really want to keep that dodge. Maybe just more speed and dodge? It's not a bad idea. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see it being a bad idea. He doesn't bleed. He doesn't blight. He does debuff, but can marks... It? He doesn't even debuff. And stun isn't a debuff. It would specifically say stun, right? Yeah, because there's a specific stat for debuff. So maybe making him more resistant to stuff wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see where we're going to go first before we start getting too crazy over the top. Definitely going to go for something level 5. I'm kind of thinking a boss is in order. Oh, that's awesome. That dodge is so sexy. 15 dodge on a trinket, man. That is so interesting. Like, that that could totally fill the blank with what we have right now. We could just throw a flat 15% dodge on this guy for nothing bad. Well, I mean, there's technically nothing bad. What What is it? It's not very much, though, is it? Yeah, it's 5 stress and 3 virtue. That's not bad at all. But I want to do a boss. Let's go ahead and let's go mess with the swine god. He deals a lot of... I mean a lot. Like, he deals a fuck ton of damage. And the journey to him isn't going to be very much easier. So, let's go ahead and bring up our third man. We already know what you're probably going to get. Something looking like that. I wouldn't mind keeping your dodge high. You know what? You can take the Ancestor map over that. Um, Arbalist is going to go with what she always gets. The early debuff stuff. I think it's still pretty good. Um... I kind of like this idea, if I have to be completely honest with you. I think it's pretty good. And I don't see much else I really want over it. We aren't even using the legendary combo that I always use. That's kind of a shame. I feel like it's going to waste. But at the same point in time, like I just feel like it's such a bad thing to do. Because like lowering your dodge, your dodge can avoid 100% of damage or stress, right? So, if the Swine God were to attack me, mark somebody, and deal 40 damage, instead of dealing 40 damage and practically one-shotting them, he's gonna just, uh, deal none, because you're gonna dodge him. I don't know. It seems really smart to me. I mean, I hate even lowering this guy's dodge, but I think this is what we're gonna go with for now. It's honestly not my favorite, but I think our composition is strong enough, as long as we do solid play, intelligent solid play, mind you. I think we'll be fine. And don't fucking attack Wilbur. Ever. Everybody has trinkets. We only get one camp, but I'm gonna food us up. We're getting three and a half sacks of food. Way, way more than we're gonna eat 99% of the time. I'm gonna bring two shovels, uh, three bandages, two anti-venoms, two medicine orbs just in case we run across it. I'm gonna bring at least a stack and a half of torches. Or a stack and three quarters of torches. It, it's probably way, way, way the over The great prepared. thing I had managed to bring through was brutish and stupid. 
Moreover, it. it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. Mm. Well, that's not crazy. Alright, so I'm guessing it's gonna be down here. Could be there, technically, but I'm guessing down there. Let's, uh, let's go. The finest boss. Flesh Eaters. They look slightly different color. I could just be crazy, but I feel like they're slightly less colorful. Um, well go ahead and Nice. Good damage. Ah, uh, I was hoping we'd just kill you. Slowly do dodge. I'm thinking we can show the scroll to them and possibly just get a double kill here. Yeah, the it's, falls, it's pretty much like exactly what I was hoping for. Blossoms. Yeah, that went well. I'm so happy we surprised Press them. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Anything to make the fights a little bit easier on us. These fights are... Oh, come on, man. At least it didn't give them stress or anything, I guess. Fool me once. You say that every time you do something stupid. Sadly, we didn't get as lucky this time. Uh, double debuff, I guess. It's nice. We can go ahead and take care of one of these guys. Confidence surges Happy as the enemy crumbles. Of for some damage. These guys aren't. They don't have a lot of damage. They're mostly about the stress of poison. I said they don't have a lot of damage, but that was quite a bit. Especially when they're smart enough to focus somebody. He does have a lot of dodge, at least. Ooh, we got two dodges in there. That's pretty good. 14 damage, sadly it wasn't enough, but it was a pretty good amount. Man, he has 30 HP, that's a lot. Das lot, boss. Das lot. Uh, this guy can be... Ooh, nice crit! Uh, no crit, so that's fine. This guy's already has turn, so... Let's just show him the scroll. Nice! That fight went pretty well. That wasn't a hard fight, though. That was These nightmarish creatures can be felled. We don't, they can we don't be beaten. This. We have, like, so much food right now. It's not even funny how much food we have. We're packing. Who has the best disarm? I'm guessing... Yeah, it's gonna be you. 90%. 90% is a good percent. Oh, wait. Wait, we have food. But let's go ahead and carry it. Now he's full. Like, quit, quit force-feeding me, you monster. Okay, so we don't, we see it's not anywhere here. Yeah, that's exactly where I called it. There's a fight either way, so we have to go one of the two. Um, we have, we brought the torch. The match the is torch struck. Man, I did a it like, right before the fight. That was crazy. Born. Seven to seven. Pretty good. Good damage on him. Hopefully we can show the scroll to the double. It's unlikely, and they are going to get a lot of damage off here. Hopefully we resist like most of them. Yes, the double kill. It happened, the dream, the one hope. We kept it alive. Ow, wow, that crit though. Another fool for the fire. Now, Remind I am a little concerned that about this fight. Is a slow and insidious killer. Wow, she just found free stuff. Okay. But I am really concerned about this fight. This is where we, we had somebody die last time. In it's Radiance, swine may we find this victory. This is swine god. He is a golden god. Let's buff up before we do it. Calm down. Okay. Just let the, the nervousness get out of your system. A chance to steal We're here because we've worked hard to get here. We've worked to get here. We deserve this. I almost forgot to restring your bow. That would have sucked. All right, that should be enough for everybody. Hope there's no night fight. There was. Damn it! Is it bad? Is it bad? Is it bad? What is it? Oh, it's an ugly one. It was a small surprise, but it wasn't a bad one. Yeah, we had a high crit chance, so I didn't want to waste the turn mark. I'm gonna try for the stun on him. Sadly, he dodged. Bastard. 
Such a terrible Chris. assault cannot be left unanswered. Jesus, come on. Oh, crit. Crit marked him. You ever felt more marked in your entire life? It's almost. Man, he's taking a lot of damage. Hmm. We're taking a lot of damage, too. We're gonna eat up a lot of food after this, though. Holy shit! Prodigious Good size damage. alone does not dissuade uh, the sharpened We can't blade. move the party. Like, we're already in a position where nobody's gonna be able to heal us. He's just gonna have to eat some food and be happy with it because he can't reach back there. Uh, un I'm unhappy about it. A Good singular crit, strike. Man, she's almost 50%. To uh, crazy, crazy psycho bonkers. Oh, please don't throw another fucking skull. Nice, the bigger we got the, the kill. Beast, the greater the glory. Well, sadly, food can't quench your thirst for dying, my friend. So we gotta hope that that doesn't happen again. Hopefully, there's no fight in this one fucking square that we don't see anything. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, guys. The light, the promise of safety. We should have ate the food just to get us back up with the HP. Almost 300. Oh, and the stuns I forgot from this guy. We resist one of them at least. I forgot that he actually deals damage with this damn party as well. We'll lower his dodge to almost zero. God, I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Devastating blow. Our party's been freaking waiting to do this stuff. It's a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use your turn to heal him. Wow, 19. Damn nice. At least he focused somebody with a stun instead of doing the two. He's constantly marking the front two. It sucks, but we can live through it. We have the marking composition. Definitely gonna have to heal because this does deal a lot of damage. 30, wow, 60 damage. That's a really good turn. Mm, just hope he doesn't crit or anything. The real, the real challenge is Wilbur. You might think I'm fucking with you. Wilbur is actually incredibly dangerous. Yes, the double resist. He's still marked, so we're gonna go ahead and get a heal in here once we get to our occultist turn. 11 is pretty good. Mmm, damn. So close to death's door. We gotta heal you up, my friend. We got a lot, we got a lot of fight left. Oh shit, he needs to be marked again. That's fine. At least he chose somebody to stun. It's, it's getting scary, and we need to mark. We're gonna make our. We're gonna make somebody else mark. Oh, it's getting really scary. He's gonna be in Death's Door, almost for certain. He might go in Death's Door, honestly, because he did 26 last turn. Holy the fuck, he's just dealing more. Oh, Wilbur could get a double kill here. Don't fuck with me, Wilbur. This. Don't fuck with me, son of a! More dust, more ashes, more disappointment. <sighs> They're gone. There's no way we can finish. She can't use her abilities here. She can't use anything here. A wise general cuts losses and regroups. Wounds to be tended. Lessons to be learned. What lesson do I learn from that? You're gonna get unlucky and die? I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Oh, I 
mind hurts, man. Great heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. Well, looks like we're going to wait to recruit some more. I knew it. I knew it would happen. I felt it. Ugh. Well. Did we at least bring back their trinkets? That's the... I don't even see their trinkets. Are they on the dead bodies? I swear I thought we brought him back. Yeah, I guess... I guess we didn't. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed the episode! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Ah! I knew it was gonna happen the second he brought us both down to death's door. Oh, I just knew it. Man, it hurts. It hurts so bad. It never ceases to hurt. You think that you you have everybody in level 4, everybody's really strong, you're going to be able to be fine and take it. it. It doesn't ever get any easier, guys. Losing someone hurts as much as the first time you lost a character. Even with 100k gold and trinkets that can practically last us forever, it's just going to take us more time to level these people up. Damn it, I thought we were prepared. Huh. <sighs> Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button to show the support for the Fallen, sadly. And, um, wow. Comment down there in the comment section below saying whatever you need to say. Hopefully some mourning for our lost brethren. And, uh, subscribe to my channel for more daily content. And I hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole world. And don't get obliterate mass to death for like seven turns straight. See you guys.